Let me try drawing the 45-45-90 triangle here. This angle measures 45 degrees and so does this one. We say it's special because given any one side of this triangle, we can easily find the lengths of the other two. It means given one side, we can find the lengths of all the sides. We also know that sides opposite equal angles are equal. So AB will be equal to BC and as 90 is greater than 45, both these sides will be smaller than AC. In the 45-45-90 triangle, the three sides are in the ratio 1 is to 1 is to root 2. In variable terms, if AB is A, then BC will also be A and AC will be A root 2. Let's experiment with numbers. What if AB is 3? If this length is 3, then this one as well has to be 3. So BC will be 3 and based on the ratio, AC will be 3 root 2. This was easy. Now, what if AC is 4? If AC is 4, then AB will equal 4 by root 2. Multiplying A with root 2 gives us A root 2. Multiplying 4 by root 2 with root 2 gives us 4. And BC will also equal 4 by root 2. And just like I asked you in the 30, 60, 90 video, what should we do if we forget this ratio? If we forget the ratio, all we need is to draw the 45-45-90 triangle again. As both these sides are equal, let's call them X and let's call this one Y. As this is a right triangle, based on the Pythagoras theorem, we can say that X squared plus X squared is equal to Y squared. So 2X squared will equal Y squared. Transposing 2 to the other side, we get x squared as y squared by 2. And taking the square root on both sides, we get x as y by root 2. y will be x root 2. And that gives us the ratio as x is to x is to x root 2 or 1 is to 1 is to root 2. So we just applied the Pythagoras theorem in this triangle and we have the ratio we are looking for.